everything I write, you should be writing on your answer sheet. And then any questions you have, ask. So for number two, simplifying using the order of operations, we have to do what's on the inside first. So add. Then do our um, exponents, so we can do both of these at the same time. Multiply the 4 and the 8. And then add slash subtract everything together. So this will give us negative 40 plus 32 should be negative 8. So if you did not get that, fix it. If you did, good job. Questions on that? Or there were a couple things going on. Two less than, so this would mean we're subtracting, but the two's gonna go at the end. The product of, so everything in here, we are multiplying together. But then it also says the sum of a number and three, so everything in there we are adding together. So this should look something like, we're subtracting two at the end, we are multiplying negative four and the sum of a number and three. So your variable can be different, it just has to be in the same order. And then number five, we needed to distribute first. Remember, don't let the fractions confuse you. It's the same as if we were just distributing regular numbers. One half times negative 12, one half times eight, negative one third times nine, negative one third times negative six, or you can think about it as because these have ones in your numerator, you're really just dividing. Negative 12 divided by two, eight divided by two, 9 divided by negative 3, and negative 6 divided by negative 3. And then combine your like terms. So negative 9x plus 6 should have been that final answer. Questions on any of those? Make sure you have those uh, work in answers written down on your answer sheet. Hold on to it because I'm not collecting it today. And over time, we'll do four others and then you'll turn that in. Okay. The half sheet, if you wrote on it, not right now, later you can recycle it or keep it if you want. If you did not write on it later, not right now, I'll take that back. Before I pass out anymore, everyone look through stuff and see if you have this for me. If I gave you one and you already have one, I need that back. And then if you don't have one, raise your hand if I can get you. Questions you want to see, do you go over, maybe you need a refresher, it looks complicated, you're not sure where to start, any of those things. Right, so for this first section, we are trying to figure, figure out which of these symbols go with these words. So which symbol goes with sum? You can say these out loud. Addition. Uh, which of these go with product? I'm going to put the dot. Decrease by. Say it out loud. Minus. Quotient. Quotient. Divide. So I'm going to put the division symbol, but remember we're not using that anymore. Increase by. Plus. Plus. Difference. Minus. Minus. More than. Plus. Plus. Less than. Minus. Minus. 
and then twice something. Okay. Alright, so in this first section, we are given algebraic expressions and we have to translate them into words. Which of those do we want to see, do you go over, have questions about? So this is a time for if you don't remember how to do this or Maybe you just want to double check something. Maybe you did it already and want to double check your answer. All of these things. Because if you don't say anything, we're just going to move on. And I'm going to assume that you know what you're doing. to remember what all we're doing. We have half is being multiplied to everything, and then we are adding. So how could we say that one half is being multiplied to everything? This is something I'm not going to give you. You have to either remember or look in your notes. We do the translate, you know, so they look Now we have to say something about x and y being added together. The sum of, and we have to say two different numbers. Now remember that you can make this as complex or simple as you want. You could have said one half times the sum of x and y. That would work. One half all times x plus y. That would be fine. As long as it makes sense in English as well as in math. You're good. Questions on 17? 18. We are multiplying and subtracting. So give me a word for multiplication. The product. The product of three, I'm just going to say and x. Now we have to think of a word that means to subtract. by 4, minus 4, less 4, but not less than 4, because then we have to put a D. Any others in that section? Right. 19 is going to be very similar to 17. 5 is being multiplied to everything, and A and B are subtracting. So how can we say 5 is being multiplied to everything, and I said? 5 times the difference. 5 times the difference. Of. And then we could put A and B. A number and a different number, we could say a number A and a number B, A and a number B, any of those. Other 
one in that section before we move on. So here we are dividing. What is a word that means to divide a mess up? Say the quotient of x and y. We could have said x divided by y, x over y, I'll accept, but you probably won't see that. Any others in that section? In 15, we, are, we have two things we need to write out. One is the multiplication, the other is this power of two. So give me a word that needs multiplication. Eight times a number, and then how could we say it's squared? Any others in that section before we move on? In this next section, we are doing the opposite. Now we have words and we have to translate it to algebraic expressions. Which of those do you want to see we go over more questions about? And we know these are the things we are multiplying. But then it also says twice a, which means these two things are also multiplying. So when we write this, you can write it a couple different ways. With 2a in parentheses, or with b in parentheses. Nope. Let's just write it B in parentheses, it kind of looks like A is being multiplied to B and not everything. So. Other questions in this section? Twenty-nine is similar to twenty-eight, but a little different. So now we have twice, so we're multiplying the product of a and b. So these two things are multiplying. So this is kind of opposite of this because a and b now are going to be in parentheses, where two is outside of that. Other questions in this? So if you were doing the um, translating matching practice from last week, these are similar because they're very similar but a little different. Oh, I'll just put it in there. Okay, hold on. Um, so 34 is the cube of A, so this part goes together, then plus B. Where 35 is the cube of all of this, the sum of A. So 34 would be A cubed plus B. Where 35, everything would be in parentheses. Outside of that would be cubed, and on the inside would be A. Other questions in that section? Yes. 31. All right. For 31, we have twice a number, so we're multiplying, 
increase by, so we're adding, three times, so multiplying again, the number. Because it says the number and not a different number, we're using the same variables. So we're going to use the one and the other. So two times, so we give me a variable, x short, plus three times the number. If we were simplifying, we would combine the terms, but we are not doing that here, just translating. Other questions? Seven more than, we're adding, the cube of a number. So this goes together. That variable is being cubed. So 7 plus, give me a variable. Sure. W. Any others in this section before we move on? The sum of, so everything here is going to be added together, 3 times a, so here we're multiplying, so we're going to be adding, eventually, multiplying 3 and a, and then plus simplifying, but in this case, you're just asked to model, not simplify with the algebra tiles. Also, if these algebra tiles are different, the bigger square is still x squared, like we did before, but here the rectangle is xy, and the smaller square is y squared. So anytime you're given a key, always look at the key, because it could be different. Do you have questions on any of these? Want to go over any of these? What would we draw for the 2xy? 
two rectangles that are not shaded in. And what would you draw for the negative three y squared? Three shaded small squares. So that's what you would draw as well. Other questions on this page? Go on to the next, if not. So we're still in the simplifying expressions piece. This first page is really more so just combining like terms. The next page is more so distributing, combining like terms and things like that. Do we have any questions on this first page? Sounds like each. Did someone say a number that I whispered? I don't know. this work because you can do this in your calculator but I'm going to show what you would be doing. Each of these has an invisible one in front of it. These are all like terms. So you would combine them all. 1 minus 7 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and figure out what that is. Again, you would not need to show this part. You could do that in your calculator to combine your like terms. So do that from the rule you'll get Whatever like terms you are combining, just make sure you have your variable always. In this case, because we're not multiplying, it's not multiplying to anything except really the signs, and it would really just be minus. Yeah. Yeah. This would be negative six, um, negative five, negative oh, okay. okay. In nine, we have three things that are like terms, one that is not. So again, you would combine those with like terms. So go ahead and combine those and you get. And then we just bring down that plus. Other questions on this page before we move on to the next? So combine what you see are like terms, the K's together, and the B's together. What would our k's be when we combine them? Seven. When we combine our b's, what would they become? So that would just be zero. We wouldn't even include the b's at all. And then we would just put the plus seven. So sometimes you like terms disappear, and that's okay. Sometimes they shouldn't disappear, and you accidentally did something wrong to double check. Other questions on that page? So always variables first, ABC order, highest exponent, constant highs. Go on to the next page.
questions on this page. And then combine like terms if any. So when you combine them, what would we get? When you're combining your like your like terms, you're just subtracting or adding whatever it says. You are not multiplying. With 4, we're going to distribute the negative 10. Bring down the negative 7, because if you leave it, your whole answer is going to change. Combine like terms, if any. What would your final answer be? Negative 7 Questions on three or four before we go on to five and eight. For number five, similar to three, but a little different because we have two things with x squared. So when you multiply here, just the numbers, ignore that it's squared, that just stay squared the numbers you don't actually square. This is six and b or ten b that was your ten b. And then when you combine your like terms again, you don't touch the exponent, just deal with the numbers. This highest exponent trumps ABC order. Questions on that one. And then number eight is similar to what was on the shark bait warm up, except one part is a fraction, one part doesn't have anything. But what is right here? What would you distribute? one but negative one. So if you need to put that one in to remind yourself that it's there, do that. Right. We have one half times six or six divided by two. One half times twelve or twelve divided by two. And then negative three x plus fifteen. Be careful with your negatives. Double check in your calculator. And then combine like terms. When we combine like terms, what do we get? The x is completely canceled. That was that zero here. Other questions on this page before we move on? Okay. 
And this is what we finish on Monday. Monday, Tuesday, whatever day. Um, evaluating where we take whatever the variable is and put it in. Which of these do we want to see you go over, review on the calculator, anything like that? using the store method, either or does not. Other calculator questions slash questions on this page before we go on to the next. Questions on the next page. And then next, inside the absolute value, here there's nothing else left to do inside the absolute value, so you drop the absolute value bars, you make it positive, because this is right next to it, it was multiplying, so you need parentheses. Oh, 
if you are double checking in your calculator, absolute value bars, alpha, lambda. Uh, Either about this. These are your absolute values. So be careful that that is not a one. Other questions on this page, or maybe do it and show you how we can protect that in the calculator. For the remainder of class, you are working on review. That's either going to be you going back to do problems in the actual review packet, working with each other, working by yourself. You can use Desmos, but you will not be using Desmos on the quiz, on the test, so keep that in mind. Or if you've not done the Delta Math that's due on Friday, the evaluating um, expressions slash any others that you may be missing, you can work on that. If you Notice that you did it, but your grade hasn't changed. You need to email me so I can change those grades. All right, so either review or Delta Math right now. If you've done both, then come talk to me, and then I'll explain what you're doing. Questions on what we're doing for the remainder class? You have the ten short.